Welcome to Chaos. G'day guys, Dwayne here. We're currently on our Chermside West renovation project and with the current issues we're having in the uh, construction industry at the moment, all of our jobs are complete chaos. So uh, we've got issues with the availability of materials, um, just not showing up. We've got so much wet weather happening in South East Queensland at the moment that it's just throwing all of our projects into absolute chaos. Every single day is a constant rescheduling. And as you can hear from the noise on this particular project, um, we've got so many guys on this site today to try and keep the job progressing and to keep our team working. A big part of what we do at DPS Instructions is we, uh, our team is part of our family. They've all got bills and uh, things to pay as well. So it's really, really important to us to make sure that we keep them working, even if it means that it's gonna cost us a little bit of money because we've got to reschedule our jobs and move things around. But the other thing that we like to do this for is obviously we want to keep our jobs as close to schedule as possible to make sure that we can get our clients back in their homes when they think they're going to be back in here. So this particular project at the moment is definitely, uh, it's well all of our projects are a bit of a nightmare but this one here, we're still waiting on our uh, windows. So we've wrapped the outside of the building with uh, building paper. I'm actually soaking wet at the moment. I've been outside this morning putting some tarps up to uh, make sure it's all waterproof. Um, the guys are completing the internal sheeting. So as discussed on a few previous videos, the whole inside of this project is sheeted with FC sheeting, so it's all matching in with the existing masonite, and we're putting cover beads on. We've got old timber corner, so it all blends into the original house. And so because of that, it's actually worked in our favor a little bit. So FC's got a little bit more forgiveness, doesn't matter if it gets a little bit of moisture on it. So the boys have almost completed the internal linings of the home, and they've started doing all the trims and fit off of the interior. Um, we've insulated all the walls because we've got it all wrapped on the outside and that way when our windows show up we'll just have to finish the outside cladding and we can keep moving on. Uh, we've got delays on this project with the in-wall bodies of the mixers so we've been waiting for a couple of weeks now. The plumber's completed all his rough in work. We need to install three mixer bodies so that we can get our plaster here to sheet the wet areas. So obviously that's a big delay, our plumber can't finish, our plasterer can't start, our waterproofing can't start, our tiling can't start, um, which is yeah, definitely throwing a bit of a spanner in the works. Um, and the other thing that we're doing, because we've been able to wrap the outside of the building up, so basically we've gone over all the windows and we've just sealed it up like a big Christmas present and we've sheeted inside. So the boys are gonna get stuck in today uh, to start laying the internal timber flooring and that way we can keep progressing with our installation of our joinery. So yeah, look, it's a lot of stress at the moment, a lot of reorganizing, a lot of rescheduling, but um, we're managing to keep all of our jobs progressing as best we can in the current environment and communicating really well with our clients to make sure that they know what's going on in their projects in these crazy times.